I found a nice pair of used exhausts from Sonic Salvage in London. Sonic Salvage, the bike's wrecking yard. Universals, but that size hole fits on that pipe perfectly. They're both in great shape. And I decided to check valve lash, lash adjustment while we got the motor out. You can't do it when the motor's in. I thought I might want to show you what valves look like with no springs on them. The rocker's on top that pushes them down when the cam goes around and hits that pad. And then if you look far back down to the left, you'll see another arm that looks like a rocker arm. And that's the little finger that lifts the valves up and keeps them closed. Because this has a shaft back in there, a torsion bar. It twists the shaft like it does on some cars with torsion bars. And that's what gives it the springiness to pull the valve back up and keep it tight. Really unique design. I doubt it would wear out. And a really other unique design is the adjustment for the valves. The little lock nut and set screw. And that looks like it goes to the shaft that the rocker pivots on. And it must be a cam shaped or eccentric shaped shaft so that when you rotate that little shaft it must raise and lower the pivot point. Sweet. No play in the timing chain. So no redneck repairs here. And I'm going to do the ones on the back side. That's for the intake. Now to adjust the intake valves. It's actually so easy to adjust them when you can turn those little nuts from outside the motor and adjust the little screw. Then while you're doing that you're just measuring rocker gap. Oh, just what I needed a helper kitty. Meow. Come here. Come on. Thank you. Got any ideas on what's happening? Oh. You just want to get right in the action, don't you? You need to get dirt in my motor, kitty. Well, there's the carb bowls. So now while it's apart, I'm tuning up the carbs. I've already cleaned the main jets. Blown out the bowls and cleaned them. Now, these little bitty tiny jets are the idle jet mixture jets, which go in that hole. And you can see the one down there that's still installed. And I've got a little piece of wire from my power wire brush. That hole is so tiny, but it's good for cleaning it out because it doesn't seem to want to idle well. It seems to be a bit lean. Well, that's probably the reason. 30 or 40 years of gunge. Huh, it's going to run just like brand new. Well, no wonder it was having a hard time idling when I first got it running in the winter time, surging up and down. Huh, that jet's just full of crap. Good thing I took it apart. Remember, boys and girls, when you're cleaning carburetors, especially lawnmower carburetors or the idle circuit in carburetors where the passageways are super small, whether that be in a motorcycle, a carb, I mean a motorcycle or a car, the best thing to use is the wire from wire brushes. Carbs are done now. I even took it apart on the top and got the constant velocity pistons working perfect. The reason they're not falling down is they're not spring loaded, they fall down by gravity, but they are working great when the motor is standing up. Well, it's back together and finally running. Take a look. Not. It just couldn't wait. It had to run. Well, she just ran out of gas. All I did was prime the carbs up with my little squeezy bottle. Awesome. Carbs work great now. Okay, well maybe tomorrow she'll be running.